What's going on guys? You know one of the things that I love about the Jeep is all the things that are kind of the heritage from the older versions. You know, the fact that you can still take the doors off, the external hinges on the hood, uh, all those kind of little details I just have always thought were really cool. But one of the things that's kind of been bugging me ever since I got my Jeep was the gas cap. You know, it's the open face gas cap, which I get is kind of a tribute to the old army Jeeps, which had to have quick and easy access when they were out in battle and needed to fill up the Jeep with gas. But today, the plastic just kind of looks unfinished, and I really don't like the look. And I know that there's some versions of the Jeep that come with a gas cap door, like this one. Um, I think the Hard Rock comes with one, and I think maybe the Freedom Edition, and I really like the look of it. So I went down to Amazon, I picked one of these up, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go check it out. But this has got a nice metal finish to it, and I think it's really going to kind of clean up the back of the look of the Jeep, and I really am looking forward to installing this. It's supposed to be a very easy install. Let's see how easy it's going to be. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is just take out these two inner screws with a Phillips screwdriver. All right, now that we have the screws out, all we're going to do is press the light towards the center and then just pull it right out. Oh yeah, look at all that California trail dust and mud in there, that's nice. Okay, then we're just going to take the fuel door off and pop off this little piece right here. Set that aside. Okay, and then what we want to do next is remove this rubber O-ring that's around here, pull that right off. Okay, so now that we've got the gas cap off and we've accessed the back of the light here, there's a couple little tabs that you'll see in there. There's one up there and there's one down there. Come on, light, get in there. And we're just gonna knock those down and then press the, from the inside out. Not as easy as it looks, but we got her. This is what you're left with after you get that off, and it's just amazing to me how much dirt has actually accumulated back there. I need to clean that up a little bit, but let's wipe this down and get the other one installed. Okay, so there's these little tabs here on the bottom, and those are just gonna slide right over the metal, and then we'll just roll it right into places. Let's hope it's that smooth. Okay, now all we gotta do is reinstall the O-ring. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie. Putting that O-ring on there was a pain in the butt. What I ended up doing was taking the whole thing off, putting the O-ring back on there, and then sliding that over. It still wasn't easy, but now we got a good fit on there. Okay, so next we're gonna put the little tab in here for the little handle. Okay, and then I'm just gonna reinstall my dirty light, and this time we wanna press in and then lock it into place. Like that, put our screws in. Make sure guys, when you're screwing these in, that you don't torque down too hard on those screws, because if you do, they'll actually crack the plastic of the lens. Just nice and snug is all you really need. You get a nice seal. So that install went pretty well. Except for that black O-ring, man. That thing was kind of a beast getting out and then putting it back in to kind of fit right. I busted my knuckles up a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, but overall, you know, not a bad install for an afternoon. And look, I know, it's not gonna make my Jeep off-road any better. It's not gonna make it any faster. But sometimes just having a cosmetic upgrade is really nice. And now I really think it's got a nice finished look. I'm really happy with how it turned out. If you like this video, guys, Give it a thumbs up. And look, if you're not following us on Facebook, man, we would love to have you over there as one of our Facebook followers. We're gonna keep you up to date on what's coming up and what we're doing and just have an interaction with you guys that we really can't have here on YouTube. So go over to Facebook and follow us along. 
And look, until next time, we'll see you out on the trail.